hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel b4 btech so in this video we are going to learn about playfair cipher so what is playfair cipher so basically it is a uh, encryption technique that uses 5 in 5 cross 5 matrix and based on the keyword provided uh, plain text is encrypted and decrypted so we are going to understand this uh, through one example so in this example we have taken the keyboard as monarchy it could be anything uh, it could be like any word you can pick it, uh, keyboard should be anything we have taken as monarchy and the plain text is given as attack it could be uh, given in the question uh, so we have taken as attack so firstly what we need to do is we need to make a 5 cross 5 matrix it is compulsory to make 5 cross 5 matrix only uh, to making this uh, playfair cipher so after making this 5 cross 5 matrix again right here 5 cross 5 matrix what you need to do is first we need to fill this keyword whatever the keyword is there first we need to fill this keyword so our keyword is monarchy so we need to write monarchy so it is m o n a r c h y we have filled this monarchy so for uh, the thing what we need to keep in mind is the letter should not be written more than one time means if we have monarchy m at the last also means we can't write m at the uh, again at the last means the letter should be written only once at a time so uh, all the letters is unique m o n a r c h y all the letters is unique so we have written all the uh, letters of this word after that what if the letter is not there we need to write that uh, alphabet so so a is already present here so we are starting through b b then c is already there so we have written d then we have written e f g h is already written here so we have not written h then i and j we have written at a in a, a single uh, uh, cell because uh, in the 5 cross 5 matrix we have only uh, 25 spaces to fill so for the one column uh, you need to write uh, both the letters so here we have written i and j both in a same cell after that we have written k l already m is there so we have skipped that then p q r is already there so we have not written that s then t u b after that uh, w x y is already written and then z uh, it is compulsory that all the a to z alphabet should be written in this uh, cell in this matrix so from a to z we have written all the alphabets but only 25 cells are there so in one cell we can write both the uh, letters at a time i and j we have written in a same cell after that after filling this 50 percent of the work is already done after, after that what we need to do is we have certain rules so if the letter is in the same column then it will be downwards and if the letter will be in the same row it will be uh, in the front side and if the letter is not in the same column and row then this interchange will be there so we'll uh, understand this through one example so we have taken this example as attack any example you can take but uh, our question is plain text is attack so we'll see this for the attack we need to divide into three pairs two two pairs we have made and three parts we have divided at then ta and then ck so for the at we need to just check where it is a and where t is there so here a is there and here t is there so what we need to do just mark this from a to t we need to make a rectangle and just we need to check whether it is in the same row and same column this a and t is not in the same row and not in the same column so what we need to do is we need to interchange this okay so after if uh, the letter is not in same column and same row then we need to interchange it so for a we can write r and for t we can write s okay just we need to interchange it so for a we need to write r and for t we need to write s so we can write here r 
and S. After that, TA is there. So we need to check where this TA is there. So here T is there and A is there. So uh, already rectangle is there. We have formed one rectangle. Then again, we need to interchange it. So after inter interchanging, what we will get? So first one is T. So after interchanging, S is there and for A, R is there. So just we need to reverse it. It will be S and R. Third one is CK. So we need to check where C is here. C is there and where K is. So here K is located. So we need to make again one rectangle and simply we need to swap it. So when we will swap C, it will be D because uh, whole swapping will be there. Okay. And when we will talk about this key, it will be E. So, so uh, for C, it will be D and for K, it will be E. So simply we need to write D and E. We have written this R S S R D. So our encrypted te text will be R S S R and D E for this attack. Okay. Again, we'll uh, take one example as as Musk because in this example we didn't have the same row and same column. So we are going through another example. Another example we are taking as Musk. So again, we have divided into three pairs: uh, M O S Q and U E. M O S Q and U E. So first we'll see about M O. So just check here where it is located. M O. So M O is here in the same row. It is in the same row so for when uh, any letter is in the same row then just simply we need to in the forward direction so when we'll go in the forward direction first we are checking for the M so when we'll talk about M if we will go in the forward direction it will be O and when we are going for O it will be forward direction as N means for M it will be O and for O it will be N so we need to write O N then second one is S and Q so first we'll search where is S and Q here it is S and Q so we need to just go in the forward direction so when we'll talk about S it will be T and we'll talk about Q it will be S so we need to write T and S Then we will talk about UE. So first we will check where is U and where is E. So here U is there and E is here. So it is in the same column. Firstly we will check about, uh, firstly we we'll, uh, checked about MO then we checked about SQ. MO and SQ were in same row but now U and E are in the same column. So for the column what is the rule? that? everything we need to go downwards so when we will uh, go downwards for the u there is nothing so it will be m okay it will just skip and it will come under m because there is nothing downwards to u so m will be there and for the e when we we'll talk about e it will be l so simply we can write here l okay so for M M O it is O N for S Q it is T S and for U E it is M L. So the encrypted text will be O N T S and M L. Okay. So these are the two examples. And uh, in some rare cases, uh, one thing you need to keep in mind: if uh, the letter like if letter will be of five characters, like we can take example of clock, it will be five character. So it will not be in a pair means you can write cl you can write c o c and then k will not be in a pair so at that time you can use a filler letter like like x or y or z any filler uh, letter you can write here and then you can proceed it in the same way like if uh, and another thing is there like if a word is there like balloon so here ll is there and o is there so you can't write b a l l O, o, o and N you can't write 
both the letters at a uh, in the same pair so what we need to what we need to do in is in this ba then lx we need to write a filler character instead of this and then lo then nx like this like this you need to write you can't write uh, both the uh, same letter in a pair so you need to use one filler character in this okay so in this way you can uh, uh, make this uh, play fair cipher so if you like this video please subscribe our channel thank you for watching this video